An historic Columbus school is getting a fresh look at life. The former Indianola Junior High School on 19th Avenue will be a new location for a semi-public school. One that will play a role in training Ohio's newest tech workers. New tonight, TNTV's Colin Dorsey goes inside to see the work being done to bring the school up into the modern age. He's live in studio tonight with this story you'll only see here on 10 TV. Colin. Yeah, Metro School started as a small STEM high school on the OSU campus. It now needs more space. It's added more students and a middle school. And now school leaders say this historic building gives them just what they're looking for. Seeing everything kind of as it is right now, is it hard to imagine what that's going to look like in two years' time? Oh, no, no. I have the image all in my head of what this is going to look like. I mean, even just months ago, this, this whole space had the, the seats still in them. A school bearing the badge of being the first junior high school in the country, now becoming a future vision for Metro School Superintendent Mika Pace. But on the inside, right, it's ours to do with, and so, you know, if it doesn't fit, if the inside doesn't fit what the school program is, then certainly you should change it and make it what it needs to be, right? right? These students will be coding robots in a building that opened just as homes were starting to get their first radios. Being on the National Register of Historic Places, this nearly 100-year-old building will be mostly restored to the way it was with a twist for the modern era. I mean, we knew back when Metro was started that we needed to do something different in order to give um, underrepresented students access to STEM careers. With no windows and holes in the plaster, it might be a little hard to imagine what this school is going to look like. But in just two years' time, it's going to be going from hard hats to thinking caps. It's an expensive undertaking. Renovating this old building comes with a $34 million price tag. Ohio State bought the building from Columbus City Schools back in 2018, and it's been empty for years. Metro Schools partnered with OSU, Battelle, and others to bring it all together. We have all worked collaboratively to realize the vision of this space, and you know it's exciting for us. We get to offer more seats to students in this building. Um, we get to start new industry pathways because we now have space to do it. And right now, Metro Schools has an enrollment of about 900 students. This old building will help them expand to about 1,200 students, all focused on the jobs of the future. All right, and Colin, you say they're preparing students for the jobs of the future. What exactly does that mean? All right, so we're talking about those jobs in science, tech, engineering, and math, STEM. Metro Schools isn't the only school system that's putting a focus on these. A lot of schools, both public and private, are now getting students trained in things such as coding computers and automation systems. Colin Dorsey, 10TV News.